On this Tobacco University video, I'm gonna go over using electricity to heat a cannabis grow facility. All right, if you're thinking about using electrical heat to heat your grow facility, let's go over some of the details you should be aware of. Well, first off, the advantages of using electric heat. There's low installation cost. There's dependability with electric heat. Uh, it's application flexible, quiet operation, low maintenance, and easy to service. All these sound like great advantages for electric heat. Simple to connect to a power supply. There's usually power in the facility anyway. Do have to be careful about the wattage requirements of your size of your heater. Dependability, there's really no moving parts, so that's a great thing. There can be air deflector blades installed to help control um, airflow over the facility, over the area within the grow room. Quiet operation, so you're not dealing with any really loud noises. Low maintenance, because the motors are totally enclosed, thermally protected, so that's a great thing. And the fan and motor are exposed, usually for easy access if needed to be accessed. Now, the electric heat for individual grow rooms or individual rooms themselves, having nearly instant heat in a grow space is advantageous to prevent the temperature from dipping too low. This type of heat source can also allow for specific temperature targets to be varied room to room with different thermostats based on different sections. So that can really want allow a grower to dial in the heat in different rooms and also try to minimize the cost of heating those individual rooms. You want to check to be sure though when you are going through and considering electric heat to make sure that the electrical system can handle the addition of an electric heater. Always consider the worst case scenario and that's where all of your electrical systems are running at the same time even though that may not be the intention. This includes your lights, your pumps, your fans, and any addition to the heater that you may have. You don't want to have what's going on it looks like here where you just start plugging everything in and oh if that works let me try something else. Oh that's still working let me try something else. You want to be mindful of exactly how much amps your system is drawing and what breaker system you have everything hooked up to. Lastly is, again, that word of caution, because we are talking about a grow facility. Within grow rooms, there's always water of some kind around, so just be sure to take extra precautions to, to make sure that it's kept isolated and away from areas where electrical heat is in general. Heaters tend to be large consumers of electricity to make sure they do not come in contact with water, make sure there's distinct isolation and separation so you're providing the sufficient heat that the grow facility needs with the proper safety precautions in place for both the plants as well as the grower.